So let's start talking about different agents. So phenylephrin is an alpha-1 agonist that's usually given intravenously in 50 to 100 mic boluses, but you can also give, be, give it as an infusion of 20 to 100 mics per minute. It works fairly fast in about 45 to 60 seconds and lasts anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. Side effects include it has a very potent reflex bradycardia. In fact, in a fa in fact, if you're using a non-invasive blood pressure monitor, you'll know when the phenylephrine is taking effect because you immediately notice a decrease in heart rate prior to the non-invasive blood pressure cuff giving you a higher blood pressure. As a result of the, the vasal constriction, you get an increase in SVR and therefore decrease in cardiac output. Therefore, it makes sense that if somebody's in cardiogenic shock and has, um, uh, which you would find in cardiogenic shock is a narrow pulse pressure, you would really want to avoid phenylephrine because even though you may make your blood pressure better, your actual cardiac output would decrease. This is a perfect example where blood pressure does not equal flow. Ephedrine is not something that we often use in the ICU. Um, it's something that we often use, however, in anesthesia in the general OR or on OB anesthesia. Ephedrine is an alpha and beta indirect agonist. It's usually given IV in 5 to 10 milligram boluses. Uh, it takes about 3 minutes to take effect and lasts anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. And essentially what it does, it causes release of norepinephrine tissue stores. Hence, it's an, it's an indirect agonist, as opposed to phenylephrine, which binds directly on the alpha-1 receptors. You would avoid this in pheochromocytoma, because you may have an all of a sudden, pheochromocytoma is essentially a ball um, in the, uh, often in the adrenal gland. Um, that is full of all these catecholamines and by giving ephedrine you may just cause a pheochromocytoma blood pressure crisis where you have a incredible release of all this norepinephrine and people argue that you probably should avoid it in chronic users of amphetamines as well as tca and mao inhibitors um, classically it's taught that um, amphetamines as well as these inhibitors uh, lead to a chronically depleted state of catecholamine stores because as you recall from the physiology, amphetamines and TCA MAOs lead to a decreased uh, reuptake of catecholamines at nerve terminals. So you can imagine that you would eventually have depleted stores of these catecholamines and if you use ephedrine, which is supposed to release these stores, uh, you may not get an appropriate response. Okay. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.